Hey guys, Dirt and Rust here. I uh, just got back from the flea market and I got a few items here to show you. Let's start with this. Uh, got a Harley Davidson shifter here. Actually, this was in a bag with this stuff. Uh, these ended up being some sort of uh, medical. These are some kind of medical tools for uh, doing a throat operation, I guess. That would go down your throat. They're pretty strange tools here. Uh, something to do with the larynx. Anyway, I got this uh, pistol grip keyhole saw here. It's a Miller's Falls. Got this Jorgensen C clamp. It's pretty huge, pretty good size. Uh, it's a number seven oh six. Pretty good condition. And let's see here. Got this thing. Just looked interesting to me, so I picked it up. And it looks like it's a power pull. It looks like a rope or something would come in through here, and this would pull and make this clamp down as you pull it. Pretty nifty little device there. Uh, Burbank, California. Mas Mazdam power pull. Cool. And I got this. Okay, let me back up here. This, uh, this was $5. This and this all together was 5 This was a buck. I ended up paying 7 bucks for that. Um, let's see here. This, this is a dollar. Yeah, dollar. This is a dollar, but I'll get to that. Um, yeah, so this is this is pretty cool. Um, looks like it's some sort of a rivet punch. C7. Let's see if I can find a maker's mark on there. Oh, it's got a big old number on there. Five nine one zero zero five one zero zero. Got another big number on there. Five nine zero 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 one eight. That might be the maker's mark, but I can't really read it. Maybe you guys can. Anyway, that was pretty cool for a buck. Um, this came from the same pile as this. It's painted white. But I thought these were kind of neat pair of vice grips. Have an interesting look. Be fun to take the paint off that. Let's see what it looks like underneath. I don't see any maker's marks. Got these calipers, pretty rough for a buck. It says made in Spain here. Yeah. And I got these vice grips, Powercraft. In really good condition. Got these wire cutters. Craftsman. I really like the uh, ornate uh, handle pattern there. 
pretty cool. It does have a little flaw in it there. A uh, dollar, and these actually were two bucks. Combo wrench here, plum. Plum LA. This is a uh, number one two two zero. And I got some wire strippers. Kind of double sided here. I got a couple of hammers. Uh, this one is a an old craftsman. I got this one for a buck. It's really worn out. Somebody used the heck out of that. You can kind of see Craftsman there, just the very beginning and end. And then uh, I got this mallet with the copper ends here, which I guess they used because uh, they didn't want to get a spark. Whatever they're working on, they don't want to get a spark. They're around gas or some sort of uh, fumes or something. But this was a buck. I was really glad to get that. It has a cool look. A little bit loose on the handle. And no maker's mark to be seen on this. I was looking pretty hard on the handle and I didn't see anything. But definitely worth a buck. And that is it, guys. That was my Friday haul. It was fun. Have a great day. Thanks for watching. Bye.